Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is another uh, entry in my CD collection. So I'm gonna dive right on in. Hopefully it's not like 50, 60 minutes long again. Um, I'm just gonna tell you what it is and then if I have anything to say about it, I will, but I'm trying to keep it short. So the first one here is the Easter Sunday soundtrack. Um, it's really, it's an independent horror film about a pretty much a killer bunny. Um, yeah. It's a burn disc, but I bought this. I bought it from the actual uh, producer. It's an okay movie. I, I thought it was all right. <laughs> um, we got some mindless self indulgence. This is Frankenstein Girls Will Seem Strangely Sexy. Uh, their second. This is their second album. I think it's actually third. I don't know. Tighter. Um, we have The Shocking Blue, At Home. This is the album that has uh, Venus on it. And Love Buzz. So, there you go. Uh, if you guys don't know who The Shocking Blue is, Nirvana covered Love Buzz on their first album, Bleach. And then everybody knows the song Venus. At least I would hope you guys do. Um... That's weird. All right. These are not in any particular order. They're all like mixed up. Uh, next one here is a Bouncing Souls album. This is Simplicity. This is from 2016. You guys know I like punk rock, so gotta, I love the Bouncing Souls. Um, next up we have, I think this is their second album. Yeah. This is the Buggles Adventures in Modern Recording. Uh, they're the band that did Video Killed the Radio Star. It's not on this album though, so. It's a two disc, that's actually it's just a one disc. Yeah, just one disc. One of my favorite punk bands from the late 80s and early 90s. This is uh, the live album. Big Drill Car, two word. Um, just 11, it's just a short set, 11 tracks, including their um, cover of Billy Joel's Big Shot. Uh, we got The Mighty Lemon Drops. This is their the album that everybody seems to know without World, or world Without End. This is the bonus track edition. It's got Inside Out on it. Everybody knows that song. Uh, one of my favorite bands of all time, Talking Heads, Stop Making Sense. This is a live album with all the bonus tracks. I bought this set of Borders, um, which don't exist anymore. But I, did, I picked that up day one. I uh, got some ska here. You guys like ska, you probably know who this band is. Uh, six of their albums. We got the Voodoo Ghost Skulls. This is Who Is This Is. Um, Ferme. Steady As She Goes. Symbolic. Uh, the Band Geek Mafia. Good album. And then. Uh, Baile de los Locos. Did I mention I love them? Uh, I got some soundtracks here. Actually, this whole stack is soundtracks. Yeah, these are all my horror soundtracks. Well, most of them. We have Nightbreed, Danny Elfman. Uh, we got 28 Days Later, uh, The Hells Have Eyes Remake, this is, okay, this is both songs from the movie and then also the score by Tom and Andy, so. uh, the original Carrie score. 
Frey vs. Jason, the score. I think I have the soundtrack as well somewhere in this mess. Uh, the Fly and the Fly 2. This is Howard Shore and Christopher Young. Uh, this is a two disc, two disc set. Uh, we got Christine. I think the packet here is, yeah, it's definitely water damaged on this one, but the disc was fine when I bought it. Uh, the original Halloween. Uh, Friday the 13th. Uh, the score from the actual TV series of Tales from the Crypt. And we have Magic, Jerry Goldsmith. Uh, this is a compilation of Descendants summary, 28 tracks. This band, I don't, I don't know who this is. Uh, I think I got someone gave this to me. I think I'm gonna have to listen to it again. I think they covered a Bob Dylan song on here. Yeah, I don't, I'm not familiar with this band at all. This is Flip Over Stylus, ready to use. I don't know what that is. Uh, we got Melanie Martinez, Crybaby. I'm a fan of her, what can I say? This is her best album though. I, the other two are okay, but I like the first one better. It's usually what I think. Uh, we have, I think this is a, yeah, touch and go release. I think, what's his name is in this band? Probably, yeah, Steve Albini. Uh, he's, you probably know him as a producer, engineer. This is <clears throat> Rape Man, Two Nuns and a Pack Mule. Uh, we got... <clears throat> The self-titled album, Violent Thumbs, Blister in the Sun, uh, Kiss Off, Give Me the Car, you know, good stuff. Uh, this is uh, an EP from Social Distortion. Uh, it's the Story of My Life EP. Uh, basically, it's just story of my life, the single version, a couple live tracks, and then two quote-unquote new recordings from 1990. <sighs> this band was interesting. Um, I know they changed their name for some reason, but this is Brown Lobster Tank. It's a punk band. Uh, they actually changed their name to just The Tank after this album came out. So. Really good stuff. Really enjoyed this album. Uh, I got like a million copies of this album. I think I have at least three. One on vinyl and then I think I have two, two CDs of it. This is the Foo Fighters self-titled album. Uh, got the Rolling Stones, Some Girls. This is the Deluxe Edition. I think it's a two disc set. Yeah, two disc set. This this right here is pretty sought after. Um, I've heard I've listened to some of it. Um, I'm a I'm a Murder Dolls fan. So when when Wednesday Thirteen released this box set of his early work, I had to grab it. This is Wednesday Thirteen's Frankenstein Drag Queens from Planet Thirteen. Box set. Nope, as everything slides out. We have four albums and then a rarities bonus disc. And then there's a bonus DVD as well. So, really happy to have that in my collection. Uh, I mentioned this, this band earlier, uh, Year of the Rabbit. 
uh, side project of Ken Andrews from Failure. Pretty decent album. I think they only released one album though. Uh, one of Kurt Cobain's favorite punk bands. One of mine too. This is The Wipers. Um, this is a three disc set of their first three albums. Is This Real, Youth of America, and Over the Edge. And then I think this is their fourth album. This is The Herd. This band here, I have to go back and listen to this again. I don't remember, I think they were just alternative rock. The band is called Whatever. The album is called Youngsters. Yeah, Doctor Strange Records, so kind of like a punk label, so to speak. Uh, we have the drummer of Black Sabbath. This is his solo album. From 1990, this is Bill Ward, Ward 1, Along the Way. Uh, this is the other, the other three albums from Wall of Voodoo. This is Ugly Americans in Australia. Uh, the Index Masters and... Call of the West, which is their best album, I think, personally. This is the album that has Mexican radio on it. On Interstate 15, that's a good song, too. Uh, we've got Pinkerton, the deluxe edition of Weezer's second album. This has got a bunch of like sessions and live tracks and unreleased tracks on it. Uh, we have Misfits, Friday the 13th EP. Only got four songs on it. But pretty cool. Uh, Blink 182 is California. I bought the I bought these um, I guess you could call them bootlegs I don't know yeah pretty much these are all live and quote unquote demos from 2001 of Weezer I made this artwork myself but the discs themselves were purchased on eBay I believe back in the day I wouldn't do that now but I did it back then when I was a kid uh, we got some Miracle Legion here. We have uh, me and Mr. Ray. I showed this. I had this the kiss out of this uh, drenched. Uh, this is out to play EP, and then we have portrait of a damaged family. One of my favorite bands of of all time, right there. Uh, we've got Mission of Burma. This is Versus, and we have Signals, Calls, and Marches, uh, The Horrible Truth About Burma, uh, we have a couple Minutemen albums here, another punk band I enjoy. This is uh, Double Nickels on the Dime, Ballot Results. And then this is a double album, The Punchline and What Makes a Man Start Fires. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, I don't want to call them bootlegs, but they kind of are. Uh, this is Nirvana 1990 in the Bloom. I think this is actually a real pressed disc though. Whatever. Oh no, it's not. It's not. It's a burnt copy. Never mind. It just it's just made to look like it's real. Uh, this is this one's a press disc though. 
This is the quote unquote in utero demos. Basically, it's just the album in a, in a different um, track listing. And then four bonus tracks that say that they're untitled, but they're not. It's, it's, um, what's, what's, what are they? I hate myself for want to die. Uh, a couple other songs. I can't think of the top of my head. But. And these, these were, I think I got these off of the seller on eBay. Yeah, these are all burned copies as well, but there are real, um, I think I have the first two that actually were pressed uh, in a different box, but this is the Outcast Decide series, so you have uh, In Memory of Kurt Cobain, The Needle and the Dam Damage Done, The Final Solution, uh, Rape of the Vaults, and Disintegration. And these all have like live tracks, uh, unreleased tracks, demos, stuff that's been released on other compilations. Uh, we have a band called Milk. This is Succeeding Recording. This is like my favorite album of theirs. Uh, we have So Many Dynamos. Uh, we got Mill and Colin here, another good punk band. We have Life on a Plate for Monkeys, uh, Penny Bridge Pioneers. This is the album that has No Cigar, Fox, uh, Penguins and Polar Bears, uh, Same Old Tunes, and the Melancholy Collection. Another punk band that I enjoy. I think I have most of their albums, if not all. Uh, the New Bomb Turks. So we have Destroy Oh Boy. <coughs> I don't want to say this. <laughs> Drunk on Cock. You know, kind of weird, right? Uh, Information Highway Revisited. Pissing Out the Poison, uh, The Big Combo, this is a singles and other swill, I guess it's a compilation, uh, At Rope's End, uh, Switchblade Tongues and Butterfly Brains, or Butter Knife, Butter Knife Brains, and Nightmare Scenario. I think these are not in order. I should probably put them in order. Two, three, four, five. I think this is, yeah, these are all the re released uh, CDs here. So we have Led Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin 2, 3. Four, House of the Holy, Physical Graffiti, Presence, and Through the Outdoor, and Coda. Okay, this is like another sought after box set that everybody wanted when it came out. I think. I'm not sure how many of they made of this, but this is the White Zombie box set. It came from New York City. I think basically this is all their albums. No, no, it's not all their albums. This is, um, this is a different box set. I forget what's on here though. But you get like a nice little packet inside, a little like behind the scenes. Pictures from their early days. Um, got some poster art there. There's Sean.
pictures of the band. And then of course the newer pictures of the band that everybody knows. I'm trying to remember what's actually on these this two disc set here. The track no three discs, I'm sorry, three disc set. I don't see a track listing on here. Okay. Alright, I got it here for you. Uh I shouldn't yeah. Sorry. Um sorry. C D number one is Gods on Voodoo Moon, seven inch six tracks. Uh and then you got this the Pig Heaven seven inch as well. Another six tracks. And then you got Seven tracks from Psycho Head Blowout 12 inch EP from 1987. Uh, disc two is Soul Crusher. I think that was their first, this was their first actual album. Ten, ten tracks. It was only available on uh, LP and uh, cassette. And then Make Them Die Slowly, this was their second album from 1989 and then the God of Thunder EP was a bonus bonus tracks on that that disc so yeah three disc set I think this is out of print now too so uh, we got a band called Sack Lunch they have two albums this one's the better one I do have the other one too but this one's the better one uh, Faruk Assault. That's the one that has Seether on it. Uh, the Vandals. Look what I almost stepped in. Another band that Kurt Cobain enjoyed. Um, or, no, I'm sorry. I think it was Chris actually did. Um, Thunder and Roses. They did White Leafs and Strange. They turned it into a. This was a, like this is like a bluesy type a garage band, but they turned it into like a you know obviously it turned into like more of a grunge sound. Uh, we have Thundering Lizards with of an uh, octopus. I don't really remember this album too much. Uh, I got to show some TLC love of Crazy Sexy Cool um, Tuesday. Free wheel, free wheeling. If you guys don't know who Tuesday is. It is a, it's a Daniel Adriano's band. Um, you guys know him as the bass player from Alkaline Trio. Another TSOL album. This is Dance with Me. This is the one that has um, 80 times on it. Code Blue. Got Nosferatu on the back there. Another punk band, 22 Jacks, Uncle Bob. This has, this is actually a um, super group, I guess you could say. It's got Joe Sib, Steve Soto, Jason Cropper, Scott Shuffled, and Sandy Hancock. Both Neutral Milk Hotel albums. I have both of them on vinyl, so here are the CD versions. Uh, the Mighty Mighty Boston's. This is The Magic of Youth. And then we have Question the Answers. I bought this used. And I'm glad I did because I. I opened it one day just to look at it, and it was actually signed by all the members, or most of the members. Uh, yeah, Dickie Barrett, uh, Ben Carr, uh, actually I think all of them did, actually I don't, I don't think all of them did, Joe Gittleman, uh, 
Joe Cirrhosis. Yeah, I think I think they all actually signed it, so that's pretty cool. It's probably not worth anything, but you know, if you guys are a Boston's fan and you find that in a used place for five bucks, you grab it, right? Another Mighty Lemon drops. This is their first album, Happy Head. Naked Ray Gun here, another band from I think the Chicago area, I believe. Yeah, uh, we got Throb Throb, uh, All Rise, Understand, and Self Titled. Another band that I enjoyed. Their second album, I believe, is was very hard to find. I'm not sure if it still is. This is. Molly's Reach, Hi-Fi and Stereo, another like, I'd rather say like alternative rock from the mid-90s. Uh, this is the deluxe edition of Alanis Morissette's um, Jagged Little Pill. This has got 10 demos and 7 live tracks from a um, show that she did in Holland. This this artist right here, I believe, is a uh, see like a I don't, I don't want to call it folk rock. It's probably like more alternative. This is Grant McLennan, Horsebreaker Star. It's got 19 songs on it. I thought it was pretty decent enough to keep it. We got Marcy Playground, obviously, you know, self-titled with. Um, Sex and Candy, St. Joe and the School Bus. Um, yeah, this whole album is pretty good. The Vampires of New York. And then the second album, Shapeshifter. It's Saturday, Bye Bye, All the Lights Went Out. Uh, Wave Motion Gun, you know, I, I, I really enjoyed this album too. Although I didn't get as, it wasn't as well accepted as the first album, but I do enjoy it too. I've actually seen them live before, pretty good. Uh, we have uh, brother and sister here. We have Seth MacFarlane's Music is Better Than Words. Uh, he's actually a pretty good, um, he's a good singer, he's a good pianist. And then his sister also did one, um, but you know, with her character Haley from American Dad. This is Rachel McFarlane. Haley sings. We got one of my favorite bands of all time right here. I think the first album is actually in a different box. I think it's actually in the other room. Uh, we got Local H, As Good As Dead. Pack Up The Cats. Here comes the zoo with the, with the lenticular cover. Uh, we have the No Fun EP. Uh, a live album here. And then an EP. The Team EP. Yes, they covered Team by Lord. And then there's three other tracks on here too. Uh, we got the whole Pretty much the whole discography of Not A Surf here. So we have uh, Karmic, uh, High Low, this is the one that has Popular on it. Uh, this is a, this is, like a, this is like a demo album here, yeah, North 6th Street. Proximity Effect, uh, my favorite songs on here, Amateur, that's a good song, uh, Let Go, The Weight is a Gift, uh, the, I think this is the Deluxe Edition, no, it's just, it's just, oh yeah, yeah it is, it is, because I put the EP in here too. 
have. Um, lucky. <sighs> if I had a hi-fi and the stars are indifferent to astronomy. Some lemon heads here. We have a live show from Europe 1992. And then hotel sessions. Uh, the lead singer of Miracle Legion. This is his one of his solo albums, Smile Sunset, Mark McCauley. Moving Target, Fall. It's a good album. It's a good like I don't, I'm, they're not totally punk. They're kind of geared more toward like the alternative scene. Uh, Mark Lanigan's The Winding Sheet, really good album here. Uh, Kirk Cobain and Chris Novoselic are in here as well. They helped him out quite a bit in this album. Rest in peace to Mark. We got more Zeppelin here. All my Zeppelin albums got mixed up. So we have The Song Remains the Same, uh, BBC Sessions, uh, How the West Was Won, and then Celebration Day. This is the live show that they did in 2007 in London with uh, uh, John Bonham's son Jason on drums. We wish there was a real tour for that, but that was the only show they ever did. Uh, one of my favorite artists here, he is the singer and drummer of um, Cowboy Mouth. Uh, these are two of his solo albums. This is Fred LeBlanc, this is Damn It, and then this is Playing the Game of My Life. Laszlo Bain's 11 Transistor. Uh, you probably know them because they did the theme song to Scrubs, Superman. And then we got some more Nirvana bootlegs here. We have, I made this cover art. This is the Rio tapes. Uh, I love myself and want to live. First live show. This is the house party they did in 1987 with um, Aaron Burkhardt on drums. And there's a there's a second. There's a it's just it's the it's the show. And then the, they did the the uh, radio session shortly thereafter. Uh, the quality of this is really bad, but one of the other insecticides has the whole show and it's better quality. This is actually not true, it's not Tacoma 87, this is like a different show, from what I remember. Um, this is not, this is, this is 100% fake too, this is not, this is not the Fecal Matter demo that he did with uh, Dale Crover, this is just a bunch of, yeah, it's not even real disc either. Um, this is just a bunch of um, some, of the, some of the same songs that are on the other compilations I have. But yeah, it, it looks like it's a real disc, but obviously it's not. Uh, here's a live show from 1989. This is Bleach Out Breakout. And then we have Play the Effing Guitar Man. This is another live show that they did in 1989 I believe yeah 1989 or two sorry two shows 89 and 90 yeah there's like 19 tracks on here yeah that's just you know so that's it for this box guys a lot of punk rock a lot of grunge a lot of metal soundtracks really mixed bag let me know in the comments if you like any of these bands, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye.